do do day. Good day. We've gotten two deliveries done today already. I know I haven't even said hello and I'm already started. I'm already at work. We got three more to do and they're all right around Ottawa. We're going to the one that closes first. One closes at four o'clock, the other two, the other two close at six. Uh, we got about four and a half hours to drive. It's 11 o'clock, so that means we'll get there at about 3.30. And then I have another two and a half hours yet to get the other two done. They're all about within an hour apart, so it's gonna be, well, you know, like I said yesterday, it's a little tight, not much wiggle room, but that's okay. We don't need a lot of wiggle room. Oh, look at this guy. Look at this guy in front of me now. Suddenly he found his gas pedal now that there's a passing lane. That is the most frustrating thing about Ontario drivers. I was just gonna say, like, the guy in front of me is uh, very diligently obeying the speed limit by remaining 15 beneath it. I don't want to complain because there's nothing illegal about that because that would be complaining. And then people would say, Trucker Josh, you're complaining again. So he was diligently obeying the speed limit. However, now he's speeding. I wanted to get around him. I'm in a hurry. Because you know, as soon as this passing lane is gonna be gone, he's gonna go back down to 75. And it's 90 here. And I am in a hurry. Stay out of my way today, people. No dilly dawdling today. Is that a word? No dilly dawdling? Dilly. It is now. Look it up. It's under uh, Trucker Josh words in that section of the dictionary. I got a whole section to myself. I know. I feel special. Rolling through our nation's capital, Ottawa, right now. See the capital buildings over there? Just to the left. Kilometers. Keep to the left on Highway 174 East RTE 174 East St. Laurent Boulevard. What a mouthful, Karen. Yikes. Just tell me to go straight. How about that? Yeah, our uh, Parliament Hill. For all the politicians who make way too much money for way too little work. Hey, I don't know if I'm gonna make it to my last delivery. They close at six and I'm going to be there at about six to 6.15. So I may have to turn on my sweet talking trucker, Josh, and see if I can convince them to stay a little bit longer and unload me. All, they don't even have to unload me. All they have to do is just sign a paper I can drop the package off right wherever they want it. They don't got to do any work. It'll literally take 30 seconds. If I can convince them to stay an extra 15 minutes, maybe a half hour, hopefully not. But hopefully not a half hour, I mean. Rush, rush, rush. We got two more to do. I delivered the one south of Ottawa first because they close earliest. These next two close at six o'clock, so I'll make it to this next one, no problem. It's 4.30 right now and I'm half an hour away, less than half an hour. So I'll get there at five o'clock, unload there, and then it's an hour to my next delivery, which also closes at six o'clock. And I'm gonna be there at about quarter after. So we'll see, we'll see what mood they're in, if they feel like sticking around a little bit, signing a piece of paper for me. Very often they are, if you ask them nice and let them know what's going on, but sometimes, like, you know, back in Hearst, sometimes they don't want to. So we'll see. All we can do is ask nicely. What's the worst they can say? No? Then we deliver it tomorrow morning. I've already got a reload waiting for me in Waterloo, Ontario now. It's just sitting there preloaded. I can, uh, well, either way I'm picking it up tomorrow because I can't get there tonight yet, even if I do deliver. I'm gonna pick that load up. That's taking us down to North Carolina. Once I deliver that, I'm going over to Georgia. And then I believe I'm coming back up to Ontario. I think that's my next week planned out. So I haven't been here in a while. I'm glad to see that nothing's changed. The capital's still under constant construction. I don't know what they're doing over here. They're building something. They're making it look like they're building something anyway to keep themselves busy. tomorrow morning. Kind of disappointing because I worked so hard today to go as fast as I could, but I'm going to be like, I think I'm going to be between 15 and 30 minutes short or like too late. Who knows, we might get lucky yet. I'm going to call them once I leave this customer, let them know my exact ETA because now who knows if there's going to be delays here, right? Come 
on, give her, give her, give her, give her, give her, give her, gas pedal. The other one, gas pedal, gas pedal, there you go. Come on, that's just rude. Yeah, well, I don't know how long it's gonna take at this customer, so once I'm leaving, I'm gonna give them a call, say, hey, I'm on my way there. Uh, I've been trying hard all day to get there before six, but it looks like I'm only gonna be able to get into town at 6.30. Is there gonna be anybody there who would be able to receive it still? Maybe they have like people hang back a little bit, I don't know. Maybe the owner lives like on site. Sometimes that happens, or across the street. I'm gonna ask him and let him know, you know, I gotta be in Toronto tomorrow and pick up my next load. And Usually people are very nice if you're nice to them. That's how I am with everybody else anyways. The first time you meet somebody, treat them the way you want to be treated. The next time you meet them, treat them the way they treat you. One thing you might notice if you come from the west to the east is the lack of pickup trucks. How do you guys get things from point A to B? How do you move stuff? How do you pull stuff? Look at this. Not one pickup. I mean, there are pickups here and there, like people do own pickups, but nothing like out west. Out west, you have to have a pickup. Everybody's got a pickup. Most of these vehicles here aren't even four-wheel drive. Let's see, there's another cluster of cars coming. Any pickups? Nope. Oh, here's one, F-150. How about that? There you go. Isn't that Canada's top-selling pickup truck? Such a shame. You can do better, Chevy. Come on, here's another F-150. Okay, let's stop talking about trucks. I still got it. I still got it. So, I called the next customer. I just delivered this last one here in Rockville, uh, Ontario. And I called the customer. I said, I'm not going to be there till like 6.15, 6.30. And uh, what do you know? She's like, well, you know, we live right here. And we don't have anything planned for tonight, so... If you'd like to come by and it's easy to take off the trailer, you know, we can just take it off, sign the paperwork, and you can be on your way. Mmm! So. Awesome! Still got it. Trucker Josh charm. Trucker Josh convincing skills. Trucker Josh persuasion skills. Really, my only secret is just be nice to them. Ask them really nicely. And if they say no, leave it at that. All they gotta do is say no once and you, okay, yeah, it's all up to you. If it doesn't work tonight, I'll be there in the morning. But if they don't say no, you're saying there's a chance. You'd like to unload me after you close today. You're saying there's a chance. All I'm doing is asking, and only once. Now, you, don't, you don't push them on it, right? <coughs> So we're getting unloaded today yet, and we'll be on our way towards Toronto. But it's, the day was a success. So once I get that last piece off my trailer, I'll be able to actually stop and properly clean my windshield. You know, the one thing about these Peterbilts is that the washer fluid switch is on the same switch as the high beams. So if you're if you're pushing the the button for the washer fluid like this and you hit a bump it's very easy to blast people with your high beams because your hand moves and then your high beams turn on same little uh, design flaw there so this was the road I had to deliver down <laughs> I don't think trucks are supposed to be here but if you have a delivery hey local deliveries only right 400 meters, turn right on Highway 43. It's a beautiful neighborhood. These guys had their uh, their business right on their yard there. And uh, it opened up in the back. He told me to go to the back and turn around back there. Just massive open grass area. I thought our property was beautiful. This guy's got a beautiful property. If I ever move to the Ottawa area, I know what area I'm looking for, for houses. Meters, turn right on Highway 43. I wonder what property tax is like here. Probably higher than in Manitoba. 
Manitoba property tax isn't that bad because no one wants to live there. Here we're right outside the capital of the country. So I'm guessing it's probably a little higher. People actually kind of want to live around this area. This guy turning? Is there a road or something? This guy has his left turn signal on. I guess there is a road there. I promise I washed my windshield. They're back. They just won't stay away. So we're in Kingston, Ontario. We have 23 minutes to park our truck. And we have a truck stop. So let's see if there's a parking spot for us. Well, looks like there is over here. Oh, nice. I see one. I see one. I'm going to take it. Oh, that sign said don't enter, didn't it? Well, luckily... Luckily, we uh, we quickly uh, crossed our fingers and made that an entrance. I didn't see that don't enter sign until I was already in here. My bad. Sorry. I am going to back into this spot right here. We found a spot, didn't we, Gijo? Look at the tail. Look at the tail go. Look at it go. Somebody's happy. Somebody's happy. Oh, we had a good night here. I had such a good sleep. I uh, found a spot right up front. There's lots of parking here overnight, actually. I was surprised. But uh, now that we're awake the next day, I gotta start the next vlog. So thanks for hanging out with me today. I just cleaned up my whole trailer, so it's ready to do the switch. I gotta go grab a different trailer, and we had, we're, we're gonna head down to North Carolina. Hope you join us tomorrow for that. It's gonna be fun.